Alright, now, the last two galaxies, they sucked. But now they've pulled themselves together, and they created a really awesome looking galaxy for the final one in this dome. Not counting the Bowser stage or whatever. Main galaxy. Toy Time Galaxy. Oh yeah, this is probably one of my favorite galaxies. Might be number three. And this one, it's epic. Oh yes, brand new shit. Never before seen stuff. I like it. Look at that crap. Look at all that stuff over there. It's awesome. So they're called Guillermo's. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is like their land. Or their galaxy, but... There's Toad being helpful, as usual. Hey, can you spot a Power Star from there, buddy? No, you just care about riding on the damn train. 240 laps. Oh my god, this is such a cool galaxy. I don't really have to say why. Look at this. I really like the background here. It's I don't I can't explain it too much, but it looks like to me that there's you're in like this kids a gigantic maybe galaxy sized like little kids room or something, and you can like see the floor and the walls from really far away, even though they're like probably light years across, and then you can see space out there. Yeah, it's like wow. You can see the floor and everything. It's like cool. So you're in a house, a cosmic house. Hmm. So anyways, here's what I gotta do. I gotta spin to unscrew the bolts. Yep. Those, uh, what the hell, Mecha Koopas, Mecha Bowsers. Yeah, they're like Mecha Koopas. They're, they're, they're here now, and uh, all you gotta do is just jump and uh, ground pound on them. Oh my god, there's that annoying guy. Holy shit, what's over there? That looks a little bit dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, I do believe this is where the game probably starts hitting its peak in difficulty. I suppose. This is probably the hardest one you've found seen so far. Whoa. This is kinda awkward. Uh, ah. Oh my god, I about hit that wall and I think I about plummeted to the damn floor. Oh, it's just so cool. Music's pretty cool, too. And you can see, like, you can see so much, too. Okay, now, in, on this star, I believe, there is an Easter egg. It's like a miniature toy train, like, probably similar to the one from the beginning. I don't remember where it's at. But it is here. It's like in this secret little spot. I, th I think it's in this area, and if it's not in this area, it's at the beginning and I missed it. Okay, we got a new power-up. It's uh, Spring Mario, and it's rather advanced. You, uh, oh my god, see? It's so easy to fall to your death here, but it's the only way to, to get really high up on these uh, platforms. You just hold in A, and that's it. It's like you still ground pound. I can destroy those Mecha Koopas. Look more like Bowser's though. Whoa. Easy. Ah, yeah, and getting hit will knock you out of your uh, spring. Always another way to destroy enemies, usually. Alright, gotta go back and get another spring mushroom. Uh, yeah. What the hell's that 8 bit Mario planet over there? The spring mushroom is cool looking, it's like shiny, coiled. 
to the skies. Ah. A little bit awkward. Oh, jeez. The toy train may have been down there, I don't remember. Bounced up to get to this rather dangerous locale for a pipe. We're in this multicolored cylinder. We gotta spring to the top here to get any bonus out of here. That's not the easiest thing to do in the world. But you can, uh, you gotta ricochet and bounce off the walls of the cylinder. Oh yeah, big star bit bonus. Okay, so, did we go into the block when we went down that pipe? No, I don't believe so. If you look out into the distance, you can actually see a planet and it's a cylindrical shaped planet, and it had the same colors, so I assume that's where we went. So that pipe, that's one hell of a warp pipe. It spanned a couple light years. <laughs> or at least a couple billion miles. And I just fell a couple billion miles. I don't hear the black hole. So if you look over there, you can see it. I can't see it right now. Uh, you can see it at some point, I'm sure. We've already actually seen it. I swayed to point it out until later. Who needs to spring when I can just use the reliable backflip? Oh my god, there's another one up there. Yeah. Jesus, criminy. Freaking annoying thing. That enemy is really annoying. I don't think there's any way to take him out. Just can like stun him for a second, but you gotta hop on him and then you gotta hop right back off to get anywhere. Holy cow, I think I might need the spring. I hope not. Yeah, I think I need it. I need it! Easy. Watch yourself. This is definitely the most advanced power in the game, there's no doubt. For the power later, it probably seems like it's more advanced, but it definitely isn't. It's easier to use. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. We got a. We're on a plate, and. Looks like the food's already been taken, greedy bastards. So we gotta grab this spring mushroom and head inside that jar. So you don't need to... Yeah, you do. Shit. You need to uh, bounce high to get up that uh, steep slope. And this is gonna shoot us to the main attraction of this star. Mecha Bowser. And now we have to find a way to rescue the power star at the top. I think, or is it to rescue the gear modes and then they give you the star? I don't know. This music's pretty fierce sounding, and I swear to god I've heard it before in the past from another game. I don't know for sure though. Yeah, right here is probably where this, the game just starts getting a little bit harder. Not that this is even hard at all. Shit. Whoa. Oh my god, how did I not get singed? Uh, 
And while we are halfway up. Whoa. Sounds like some kind of music that Waluigi could get into. Um, oh god, these bats get pretty annoying up here. Is it worth it? the off switch to this thing. I'm like pulling out all these damn that really made those bats go after my ass. Yeah, there it is. That's gotta be the power star. Oh yeah, Magic Koopa guarding Oh shit. Die. <laughs> that was smart. Damn. Be sure if I just got this one over here better than that one. Where does that platform go? Yeah, they're in there. I see it. This is it. Final. Yes. My God, that guy is so annoying. Always hit you. They're being too nice here. They need to make you use the spring. But if you insist, and that causes it to die, to get destroyed. Wow, that was a hell of a star. What do you mean, you guess? Oh, man. Anyone ever remember all the toys you used to play with as a kid? Boy, those were some fun times. <laughs> like, freaking Tinker Toys and... Hell, it could be anything. I mean, I, I remember I used to play with these really tiny telephone pole toys. <laughs> Probably from to some city. Like, miniature city or train set or... Uh, got, then you got the board games, you got... Candyland and Mousetrap. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Forbidden Bridge. That was a really good game. And then there's, like, Hero Quest. Hero Quest is actually like that game I wanted to let's play. Uh, Legend of Grimrock. I kinda like it, really. It's got, like, you're in a dungeon and, like, there's, like, four heroes. And there's enemies you gotta kill. The cool thing about it though is that they actually let you create your own your own shit. You didn't have to deal you didn't have to just mess with whatever they wanted to do. You had your own like book and you could write in dungeons, maps and stuff. I always played my older brothers dungeons, I remember that. You create your own stories. That was probably one of the best board games ever. Along those lines, I also remember, uh... Oh shit, what's it called? Ogre Battle or something? It's like this giant map, and like, there's this castle. And then there's like... You gotta fight the ogre at the top. Battle Masters? <laughs> and there are other games like Sorry, Monopoly, and... Hell, how about Yahtzee? Games and toys, gotta love them. Then there's like, then there's like these uh, fun things called video games. They're pretty fun too. 
So, we've we got onto this, what the hell is, is a space ray? I don't know, but you gotta find the star bits. And this is where the, uh, Hungry Luma is. Oh, I mean, these are Hungry Lumas. The ones out in the observatory hub, they're starving Lumas. That's what they should call them. Because this guy's famished, they must be freaking dying. We're not gonna worry about him, we're gonna get the, uh, star bits. Did I just see, like, a freaking tower of cake? Cake and toys. Yeah, well, cake is fun. And that's no lie. No. <laughs> Gotta watch out for all these amps and this electric shit. Alright. Perfect. Oh, there's that 8-bit Mario. Oh my god, lava. Oh, look, to the left, the far left, right up there, that cylindrical object. That's, that's the, uh, pipe. It's gotta be. It just has to be, because there's no other way to get to that planet. There is no way. And it's got the same colors, I think. If not, it's a mystery! This is really cool, the star. Okay, those are a little more tricky. They, they won't fall away, but they're gonna turn, which means you pretty much don't want to stay on them too long. Take like half a second. That is it. There wasn't as much to that one. But there was enough, though, to keep you uh, engrossed. Okay, this ain't a book. <laughs> no, it's completely the opposite. Dude, that plant looks like a stack of lifesavers. <laughs> Mario meets Mario. Yeah, I met a close-up of myself. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next part. We'll get another epic star off the Toy Time Galaxy. Have a good one.